So as I made the remark that all brains have this basic structure, the, here's a different model, modeling of the brain. On the right is Larry Swanson's idea for the, for the flat map nervous system of a rat, shaped exactly like a ladder, except for the forebrain, in which it's kind of, there's question marks over here, you know, this is the part of the map that you don't know what's going on. Well, now we know it's the same. <laughs> uh, but this is a large scale picture in which uh, you know, th this to me is, a, is much more satisfactory, but of course, you know, he doesn't know what to do over here. Whereas Olaf and Patrick are all about what to do over here in, not a rat, but in an even more complicated brain, ours. But it's interesting how the, the simplest things that count as brains are already exhibiting this basic plan and symmetry. And the basic plan is time moves across this thing from nose to tail. So these things are temporally organized, these little crawling creatures crawl in a preferred direction. And so it seems that having a brain is a counterpart to having an axis, having a direction. So uh, this is another picture. This is the, the grid-like and hierarchical organization of cortical areas in the human and in the monkey. And you know, it's the same, the same organization, you know, time. So that which is temporal in a worm becomes abstraction in a human. So the structure is still there. It just keeps getting elaborated. It turns into a more abstract and more, uh, uh, you know, more vast version of itself. But the, the basic design strategy is recognizable.